All right, so this is our our um, fertile setup right here for this man right here, Job. So he's gonna show us what these ones are first. We'll start from here and go down here and then our wagon, it's a J and M. Right, me, I'm Job, that's Myla. So mom used to call us MJ. Myla's older than me. And here's the other one, auger wagon. It has tracks and apparently this one doesn't have what most arm wagons have. They have those. And these both come out and end. So if you ever want to buy these, I bought this in Minnesota. I got this, I don't even know where. But this is a pretty cool one. The tarp is not fold over. And right. we'll start with tractors. This Bye is one. a oh dear. seven two fifteen. Yeah. It's pretty horsepower. This is the, these are the same tractors. This one lost that. Same tractors. What's this one? Don't say. Some of these tractors are pretty old. It's an A32. Is it an A32? Yeah. And okay. this is a pretty powerful one, I think. It's an old tractor. Um, it's a 9400. Whatever that means. It's a 9400, so. All right, let's start up here. Here's all this. We got some here's things. the um, upper class tractors right here. Where here's the farm the tractors we use for checking out the cattle. And we'll show you the cattle after this is all done. Yep. And this is a 6210. I don't know what that means. It has a weight on the front. For like tractor bulls or? No. Just for it. Yeah, just for the farm. We got the sprayer here. This is a sprayer and it goes out pretty far. If you want to see, this doesn't bend right here very good. It doesn't do much, so we'll just leave it flat. And then the back of this. It likes to come off sometimes. And he also got it in Minnesota. Yeah, you got I this one. I also got one. this one in Minnesota. Did you get any of these ones in Minnesota? No. No, I got this one. <laughs> Oops. My bad. Sorry about that. We start? No, no we don't. Uh, it's fine. All right. We'll get Here, this. just put it back. It'll be fine. Well, what, yeah, there's a what is it? and this comes up and down. Oh, sweet. I didn't even notice this that. This is a one. tank. What, it, what, what engine size is it? What does it say? Oh. What are the numbers? It's on the other side. There you go. If not, it's okay. I can't tell. It's too small. <laughs> Here. All right, just give that to Milo. Milo can fix it, right? Yeah. All right, let's go on. And here's my lime spreader. I got it from my cousin, Harvey. And here's a tank that it holds the gas in. It's pretty weird. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This ladder keep kept falling off so that's lost and this this the gear it makes a gear so the faster the wheel spin the farther it comes out so I'm pretty sure that's all you want to know let's move on to the and end. here is the powerful tractor in the world usually it's only a two nine six two oh R, if you want to read that. Mm -hmm. It's not going to focus. Let's go. Oh, here is my favorite tractor in the four track. Yeah, nice also known as track. a quad track. That is a 9470RX. Nice. O or, o or RX. After this tractor, we're getting into the old ones. It's smaller and older, and here's a 94020. Oh, 4020, yeah. This is my this was my favorite track before I got these two. And now this is probably my fourth favorite tractor. I don't know. That thing doesn't say how horsepower it was. Yeah, it don't say nothing. 
I don't know. I believe this one's a 40-20, isn't it? Yeah. That should be know. a 40-20. Here's an old John Deere tractor they still use today. Yep. If they use it today, it's on. Oh, it's the 530, actually. My bad. My mistake. And probably here my favorite is the that he oldest, owns. oldest tractor. It's probably the favorite one he owns, you know. It's really old. It's in really good condition. Uh, and we'll get to those. I'm gonna just pop that back. All right, Joe, mind coming around here. So now we're gonna move on this. And here is a air seeder. And we can take it into bigger space. Yeah, let's move it out there. Let's get a look up at this. Here it folds up in two pieces. And this arm, you would use it, so you put it on the ground, and you would pour bags into here. Into From here, here right? And, you and it goes it out, inside. and you fill the tanks. And that's pretty much how it's done. Now, Mike, where'd you get this at? I got that in... Illinois at my grandma and grandpa show the camera at me. And now I'll hook a tank up that my cousin is like. My cousin has a tank like this hooked up to the back. That's the other tank? Except it's a one it only has one tank. And it's hooked up. It's a three trailer. It's pretty weird. Yeah, it is pretty weird. Well uh, fold. Hook yeah. up. Nope. Now on the box, cool. this tractor is actually made to pull it. They didn't come together. Pretty good little John Deere connection collection here. Sorry for that. It's actually really cool. I mean, we have a good time and joy playing with this. All right, so let's get on to the um the case section. That was John Deere. If you what? ever want to play with it, we're at West Gale Street. <laughs> I'm gonna have to beat that out probably. What's that mean? All right, so I'll start here with the truck. Here is a old truck. It's actually new. It's actually looks like 2001. Yeah, but it looks. They make it look pretty new. Yeah. Has a hitch on the back there. Yeah, and here is our header trailer. Pretty cool. It's like a header trailer, and this moves. And then you and can also put the header on the header trailer. Yeah, like that. Or face up if you need. Yeah, there. And here's our combine. This combine is very special to me because it has tracks, and this arm will bend. And for this, it goes up, and then that way he can see the driver, and the cab person can see the driver, for an example, like that. Pretty cool. And this bends back right here. It's pretty neat right there in the back. This, in case you didn't see it, this just bends back and forth. All right, now let's move on. And here is a, a plow. So me a one fold. Up, down. And if you take these pieces off, it's actually pretty small, so these three small pieces make a big piece. It's pretty neat. It folds up in one piece. Yeah, too. now we have the trucks here. We get trucks and trailers, spe specifically goosenecks. And we got one little trailer there, the yeah, one I showed you earlier. Let's start with the uh, flatbed gooseneck. Here's a flatbed. I will take this little bit enough. I don't know why that's on there. It's all stuff. Yeah, to tie stuff down. And this trailer actually can go up, so if you it has ever, a hydraulic system, but so it's, yeah, you if you ever want to buy one of these, don't be afraid it won't come up. Here's a now here's a trailer, an old old cow trailer, and now they're newer and they're better. So if you're gonna buy one of those, you made the right choice. 
Very good. Let's go on to this. We already saw this trailer. Yeah, right? we already saw this trailer. It spins around so right here. So let's start with the Ram. This is our Ram Farm Service. It's in AM Ram. 250. Yeah. Okay. And I believe it's a 2500. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a 2500. And right. here are two small 150s. Those are Ford F 150s. Yeah, those are some nice trucks. Mm, small ones. And then we got the big Ford. This is here. a Ford 350. Says John Deere on the side. Dually has a hitch in the back with a long bed and a little thing. It's pretty sweet. If you didn't get all that, I'm sorry. If you want to you want that bit, New Holland. Watch the video. New Again. Home. Here is my nice new home planner. This actually comes up like that. And the hitch is like that. And there's a reason why the hitch is like that. I got to put this up like that. How cool is that? And you hook it into this tractor. Now, I'm going to play that again. So, in case you didn't see it before, you can slide over right. He'll do Lift it up. Yeah, lift up. Slide over this Slide way. over to the right, and you can push it in for like storage, or you had to keep it a little bit. And going down, down the road. Yeah, yeah going down the road too. Yeah, you can. And here's a nice new haul and tractor. This is actually my brother. He's the best. He's my best brother. And new haul and yeah, hitch in the back, lost the top. Good old Eli. <laughs> And now this we move on to our trailers. Semis and trailers. Probably my personal favorite, other than the John Deere's. Now you can see the semi. It's the John Deere on the side. Let's get a close up of that back. And smokestacks. Nice smokestacks in the front. You John know. Deere. What is this? Okay. Is it a, um, don't say what type of semi. The wheels actually spin on every Ertl toy of yeah. mine. So, in the, in, like, if you're just getting into Ertl, please trust us when we say this. Buy the small Ertl. It may be more expensive, some of it, but it is much better to collect, and it's and it's just much better to play with because there's so much more variety than the big, like, 1 16th scale Ertl. It's just probably by the 132. Here's the same semi. This semi is mine. This is my brother's. And this is a scruffed up because I got this when I was three. Now I'm now. And now I'm eight. He's eight. Here's another semi I got when I was two. Oh. And here's the one I got this Christmas. It hooks Pretty up nice. to this low boy over here. We'll show you that in a minute. And this is also glass. With This is metal glass. I mean, this it's is like plastic. It, it seems to me these are, all these semis are Peterbilt. Yeah, is this an Ertl too? Yeah, this is all Ertl, except for that auger wagon track. That is not Ertl, but it still works. And it come here and we can check it out. I'm not positive. I'm pretty sure it's not Ertl. Yeah, this is just de decoration. We forgot to say this. You also have the plastic ones we have here on the side. We're not gonna showcase them too much because they're not that important, you know? But if you mm -hmm. like them, sorry, but we don't really think they're important. All right, let's move back on. Sorry about that, sorry about that. More delay. Here is a low boy. Sorry, is not all put together. This is Ertl. I don't know if you can see that. That's Ertl. And it used to have attachments to hook to keep the tractor tight on it. Yeah. And here is a corn trailer, the one I sampled with you on my <laughs> on my combine. And these open up. The wheel spin. Well, it's hurt also, yeah. <laughs> and then you also... And the, the door, back door. Yeah, the back door is open. Don't so you? if you ever want to use it for a van trailer, you know, you could use it for that too. You'll Here is a trailer. straight deck cow trailer slash hog trailer. The back opens up. Wheel spin. We got this. Hitch. 
and all that on the front. If you want to take a look inside, I don't know if you can, but that's what it looks like. Never seen inside there, but it looks real. It looks like real metal. This is plastic. because Now, trailer. here is me and Ethan's favorite trailer. It is a metal low boy. So if you're ever going to get one of these, you made the rice toys, wheel spin. This part, you may all think it comes off, but it won't. Because some, they come off. And these are side pegs, and they don't go in or out. They just out. But, yeah, so this is also, yeah, like you said, uh, my favorite. I'm a fan of low boys. I just like the way they look. But... Yeah, so we're going to put this back, and now we're going to see the farm animals that we have. So we have a little bit of, we have a machine shed here. We have a pretty nice size one. I forgot to show this tractor. This is an old one with one smokestack on it. Straight there in the back says Plainfield Trucking, and it's a really old one. Didn't your dad, isn't this your dad's old one from when he was a kid? Yeah, and here's the inside of the barn. We have hay bales up there, but you can't see them, it's just pretend. Yeah. And here's our feed bunk, and that's our butcher house, actually, smokehouse, if you it's want what to use it for. It's what the, we use it for, and these cows are getting butchered. Here's here are all our baby cows. The calves, yeah. And here's my feed bunk. If you can't see, there's a bunk in front of them too. There's like that. Yeah. And we use the, the auger wagons over there to feed them. And you also have this shed, this pretty cool one. I haven't seen this before until today actually when I came over here. And we also have the two silage bins and we also have this um this yeah. little setup here. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Um this is all our dairy cows I believe and then we he has a gate that opens up to bring him to the feeding awesome bunk. Barn over here too. Yes, now we get to the pig barn first real quick. This is the pigs, you know. Now we have an auction barn right here. It's pretty cool. This got a little bit messed up, but this was to load down the... Loading chute. Yeah, it was loading chute. Thank you. Once again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we still have a little bit of stuff over here like this little honey wagon, isn't this? Yeah. Honey yeah, wagon, yeah. Manure wagon, oh, yeah, manure wagon. honey is. Thank you. And hydrous tank. Yep. And here's a silage carrier. And here's a sprayer, but they're back ripped off. Uh oh. Pigs. So, yeah, we're already showing the pigs. And then Gosh. Joe. Inside here, inside here, and there's a bale or New Holland. It is the we forgot barn. two New Holland things. So, this is also a thing that Job made as an extra barn. So yeah, yeah I made this. And here are two New Holland things, New Holland, New Holland, and they mow, and that feels stuff. And here are cards. Ertl has cards, so if you're a collector, maybe you can start up with me, me and my cousin. Ertl cards. Yeah, we'll show them. That was a 5.30 or 5.30 we're talking about. And the R4030. <laughs> we forgot to showcase this, but we have this little horse trailer, isn't this? Yeah, it's a horse trailer. Uh, yeah, it looks like a horse trailer. But we have been on that. Yeah, and now we get over to where I, my section was today when we were playing. <laughs> And then we got the pigs. Um, we have the little calves here with the, with all of the, um, yeah, the moms too, but the uh, dairy cows. And we got all the bulls out here in the pasture. And you actually have this that opens up right here. <laughs> and then, um, I'm not this calf. To go yeah, this there. calf is old enough. You know what? Yeah, he's, he's gonna sit right there. <laughs> And we also have this little horse stable barn thing that we made with an office on the and side. And here's some black cats. I don't know if you saw. Yeah, we saw. The, we had these uh, these uh, black bulls here. We and were gonna put them in, in here, but there's so much bulls in this thing that we just didn't put them in, and because we kind of got annoyed by how overflowed it was. Maybe that's not how you are. Maybe you stuff your pen full of weird stuff. Huh. I have extra buckets too. And 
there, there, there. Here. He's four extra buckets. All right, so. And here's a barn. Here's a barn for cows. And you can put fence around this. So if you're ever going to get this barn, there's fence right here. All right, so here is Job's whole Earl collection. It's a pretty nice set. Bye. We got over there, so thank you.